Hello and welcome to Bikes in Focus. This is where we have a look at some extra special vintage road bikes. I've got an absolute beauty of a bike right over there. So let's go and have a look. This is a Rally Castorama 753 Dynatech built in 1990 by the Special Bike Development Unit at Rally for the Rally Castorama racing team. This frame was actually made by Jean-Claude Bogot to use in the 91 season and is stamped JCB B290, meaning Jean-Claude Bogot, Bike 2, 1990. 93 being his racing number in the 91 Tour de France, the team helped Rally develop the Dynatech technology, hence Reynolds tubing and decals. Once done and put on sale to the public, Rally moved away from using Reynolds tubing and developed their own range. The majority of bikes used by the racing team were actually made by CFAC and then painted and badged up by Rally. As far as I'm aware, there was an internal dispute between Gerald O'Donovan, who helped up the SBDU department and the team manager as to which frames they should use. In 89, it was the Super U who were the sponsors. Bought by 90 and 91, it was Castorama during 89 and 90. Campagnolia C record with Delta brakes were used by the team. But by 91, the team were using Shimano Durace. Strictly speaking, this frame should have Durace. But as there is no documentation or pictures of Jean-Claude, the bike was built to Finian spec as seen in a picture of him riding a Team Dynatech in the 1989 Tour of Holland. One of the hardest bits to find of the build was a Finian spec fork mounted Cycling Master computer. The specs is a Renault 753 Dynatech frame, full Campagnolia C record group set with Delta brakes, ITM bars and stem, turbo saddle, original TA water bottles and at Tour de France Coca-Cola bottles. Look pedals, however, Finian road time, but the cleats are actually extremely hard to get hold of. They've got Walbert TX profile clincher rims as ridden by the team, Michelin highlight super comp tires in 700 by 23 C, again as ridden by Finian, Regina cassette and chain to match the rear mech and shifters. The frame was fully restored with bare frame and respayed with decals, many of which were custom produced, such as the names of Maxi Sports ones. What an amazing piece of history that is. I can't believe that we've got it here to share with you and to showcase this bike in its full glory. If you do have a bike yourself that you'd like to showcase or one that you'd like me to try and get hold of, then please leave a comment below, I'd love to hear. Other than that, if you do enjoy watching these videos and you're not a subscriber, then please subscribe, drop us a like, and uh, bye for now.